Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate a new feature for Archivematica version 111. This feature will allow you to import external premise events into Archivematica to be included in the 8METS file. To add external premise events to the METS, a premise XML file must be added to the transfer. Examples can be found in our documentation for 111 and also as a sample transfer in our sample data repo. As you can see here, I have opened my sample data repo in Archivematica. If you navigate to the sample transfers directory, you can scroll down and find a sample transfer called premise importer, as you see here. This transfer contains a metadata and objects folders. Within the metadata folder, you will find the premise XML file. As with the metadata.csv transfers for adding descriptive metadata to the METs, adding premise events requires an XML file to be titled premise.xml and placed within the metadata folder of the transfer, as you can see here. Now the premise XML file should look like this. It contains several required entities so Archivematica can relate files to corresponding events. It must contain one or more object, event, and agent entities. Now the first one here is the premise object, which must be a file. This is because importing premise events can only be done at the file level at this time. So all premise objects must be a file, seen here, and all objects referenced must be a file within your transfer. This entity requires two things. The first is the original name, which shown here will be the file path to the object the premise event is associated with. Here you can see it is bird.mp3 stored within the object's directory. Now the second event is the linking event identifier. For every premise event in this file that is linked to this object, a linking identifier is required. These will be converted to UUIDs by Archivematica upon import. One object can be linked to many events. The example here shows two. In fact, it shows an event number 16 and event number 17 that have happened on bird.mp3. The second entity is the premise event, shown here. The event must have an identifier value that matches with one of the linking identifiers in the premise object entity. As you see here, you've got linking ident number 16, which matches bird.mp3. Event date times must also be done according to the ISO standard 8061 format. And one more thing to note is that every event should have at least one linking agent identifier, shown here as repository code NRI. Now the third entity required in the XML is the agent. All agents linked by events in the file must be listed here with the matching linking agent identifier. As seen here, this is the repository code NRI, and it stands for the agent type organization. With a premise XML file formatted this way and added to the metadata folder of your transfer, as seen here, you can process it as normal. Archivematical will then load the premise events during the characterize and extract metadata microservice in the transfer tab. As you can see here in this microservice, there is a job called load premise events from metadata premise.xml. From this, you can click on the cog to check the log in order to determine a success or failure. Now, if a failure occurs, the transfer will continue to process but you may reject it at a later workflow step in order to review the logs to determine the failure in order to correct it before testing the transfer again. In the case of this log output, it was successful and the identifiers listed here were then given UUIDs from Archivematica and then loaded later into the ape METS file in the ingest tab. Now, once the ape is created and stored, you can then download the METS file in order to review your external premise events within it. Opening it within a text editor will allow you to search for events. In this case, by linking agent identifier value NRI. This will bring you to one of the external events. In this example, you'll see it is a virus check performed back in 2019. For more information on this feature, please visit our documentation at www.archivematica.org.